And now, from New England's news station, this is the only news at nine. Now the road to the White House and throughout this campaign, the economy has been front and center. It's jobs, the deficit, and energy. Well, could some economic numbers tell us who is going to win this thing? Peter, business editor Peter Howe takes a closer look. Not just Carolina Panthers fans, but Mitt Romney should be thrilled by the Panthers' victory over the Washington Redskins Sunday. Why Romney? A weird but stubborn coincidence that almost every Redskins home game before a presidential election since 1940, 17 out of 18 games. When the Redskins lost, the incumbent president or his party lost, too. But another correlation is good news for President Obama. The National League San Francisco Giants winning the World Series because 13 out of the last 18 times that that happened in an election year, the Democrat won the presidency. The World Series or did the Redskins win their last home game? Those are all fun to sort of pay attention to, but there's really no sort of you know causal relationship. Bentley University job, professor Jeff Galati, an voters. expert in campaigns and elections, notes much closer correlations around presidential approval ratings, income, and wealth. Those numbers matter uh, quite a bit. So not only your own personal income, but uh, changes in GDP, the overall unemployment rate. True, no president has run for and won real election with unemployment this bad since FDR, but Gulati thinks Obama's just barely net positive approval rating means Obama wins. Also, Investec research found in 90% of elections since 1900, if the stock market is down in the last two months before the election, the incumbent president or party loses. And since September 5, the gyrating market is up net by just under 65 points. Now yet another supposedly foolproof indicator, Spirit Halloween Stores says for the last four presidential elections, the candidate whose face sold more Halloween trick-or-treating masks, that was the person who went on to be elected president. And this year they say it was 70% for Obama, just 30% for Romney. The more excited we can get people about, uh, about elections, no matter how we do it, uh, I think that's a great thing for our democracy. No one single number, though, has been found to, to be related to the outcome uh, of an election. In Waltham, Massachusetts, I'm Peter Howe, NECN. And we are keeping you...